What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Hopefully you're enjoying all the content and all the new and fresh reviews that I'm bringing you guys on a weekly basis. And uh, please just keep subscribing. If you wanna help me out on my Patreon, that will be awesome too. Uh, I'm trying to really level up my Patreon this year and, and get that going, so that'd be a great help. But today, we're talking about LiPo chargers on the channel and this is going to be the video. If you're looking for a LiPo charger and you're kind of swamped in the ideas of what to get, there's a lot of chargers out there. And like, if you, if you just type in LiPo charger on Banggood, you're gonna see like hundreds of different LiPo chargers. And which one should you get? Uh, that depends on a few things. So a, a real quick advice for you here. If you're looking for a charger that's gonna be the last charger you have to buy for the next five years, then this is gonna be the one today that is that charger. It is up to par with more expensive chargers like the iCharger series. Um, don't go out and buy a $400 charger to start with because you're gonna find out that you can get the same type of quality for about half the price, which is awesome. So, um, and the company to do that is ISDT. They have been making such great chargers in the last three to four years that other big companies like Spectrum have taken notice of their design, so much so that Spectrum had ISDT actually design their smart chargers. And it looks almost exactly identical to the marketing for the ISDT chargers. It looks very similar to this for the whole entire Spectrum series, but they're about twice the price or maybe $100 more. So the ISDT brand is something that you can trust. You can take this charger out. You can charge in the field with a larger battery. And what I like about the P30 here is the fact that not only does it look cool, this guy is a super powerhouse. You can charge off of a 4S 16,000 out in the field. You can last an entire camping trip on a weekend with charging up your 4S 1300s with this guy, then take it back home and charge it back up um, using the adapter. So you can get an AC adapter, then you can plug this guy into the wall and make it your bench charger. So um, you can charge up to probably around 12 batteries at once with this using the adapters. So you can get an adapter for the front here. It's a little parallel charging board. Um, and then you know, you can buy several different versions of that parallel charging board. Um, on Banggood's website, you can look down in the frequently bought section right here and you'll see all kinds of adapters. You wanna get something that has an XT60 on here for the plug port right here. And you can get XT30 boards, you can get XT60 boards. And you can even get the little PH 2.0 boards that plug right into this XT60. And then you're ready to charge up a bunch of little tiny Whoop batteries. So Whoop batteries all the way up to 8S batteries. This guy can handle pretty much anything you throw at it, which is really cool. And it has the duality of being able to take it camping with you uh, on an FPB camping trip, or if you're just charging at home on the bench, it's like the last charger you'll ever need. But let's go ahead and take a little closer look at this guy and I'll talk about the specs. Uh, I won't bore you to death with a whole ton of tech, but I just wanna show you the basics and show you what this charger is capable of. Uh, yeah, and it also has Bluetooth, which is super rad. So let's go ahead and put it on the bench and we'll take a little closer look at the P30. Here we go. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a little closer look at the P30 from ISDT. Now, one thing I have to show you really quickly is that this exterior, this is magnesium alloy, it is not aircraft aluminum like I originally thought I went back and looked at the specs so that is a much higher quality metal DJI uses the same type of metal in some of the interior framework of their Mavic series it is very simple to use guys um, the great thing about this charger also is that it has a lot of basic functions that are added into it that really give it a good value number one is Bluetooth you can load up the Bluetooth app on your phone from ISDT. There is a, a little QR code inside the manual and that will take you to the Google Play Store, uh, also for iOS and uh, Android. So either way you go there, you can have all of the information that's normally here on your smartphone. Um, you can also make changes on the fly, which is cool. You can speed up the charge process by increasing the voltage, the amp um, or the amperage going to the battery. 
into the battery, which is cool. Um, and you can also keep tabs on how the battery is doing just walking around your house. It's kind of cool. Um, one other function that's kind of nice, aside from being able to charge on both these ports individually, you can also charge in parallel. So if you have a parallel adapter cable coming off this, you can use both of these um, in sync as a single port coming out of this charger, which is a really neat function. So I haven't seen that on any other chargers that are portable chargers like this one. So um, that is a new function that, that this one can handle, which is really cool. So um, dual channel or sync with parallel, that's, that's a nice option. But if you wanna go crazy, get a balance board on here and you can charge up to like six batteries at once coming off here. I'll, I'll put a link down to the balance boards down below because um, it's nice to be able to charge like six to 12 batteries at once if you're in a hurry, if you're going out for a weekend trip or something. But both of these ports here, we talked about these before, these are supporting up to a thousand watts per channel, which is crazy, or 1500 if you're running out parallel um, total. So uh, 30 amp max on each individual channel, uh, up to 60 max, obviously, if you're running both sides at 30. But I'm, I'm guessing that most of you guys don't have batteries that you charge at 30 amp. My favorite part about this charger is that my big 4S16000 here, it has the XT90 on it. And this one came ready to party with the XT90 plug here. So I can go ahead and plug this in. And the voltage range on this guy is pretty good. This It goes 10 volts all the way up to 34 volts. So you can run up to like a a 6s battery on this guy but you want to make sure that your input voltage you look at that first before you plug in some kind of 8s battery but most of us are not doing that so the first thing you see is that load up screen and we have these lit up buttons on the side and these are touch sensitive so these are the up and down arrows essentially and then the one in the middle is going to take you to that channel that side of channel so if i click on this side it'll bring me over to channel two and back on that side is channel one, and then I can press it again and go back to dual screen if I'm charging two at once here. Um, you also have the current voltage of the battery and then all the different cells here. And you see like one through eight right here. Um, so one S through eight S battery we can charge. And we're gonna play around with the 4S1300 today because that's the battery that we are normally charging on the channel for most of our aircraft. So we're gonna plug in the XT60 here. And then on this side, you have a little negative sign and it says 2S to 8S here. So if you're charging 1S batteries, you're gonna use some type of board that comes out of this XT60 right here. And then you're not using that uh, balance port. So we're gonna go ahead and plug this one in. And now we will see the current cells. And so it should actually uh, be already set up as a 4S because it should have auto detect happening here. We're just going to press that middle button and press it again, long press uh, for about a second. It'll take you into this main menu. Now this is cool because we can use these up and down arrows right here to navigate the menus and we have a lot of different things here. We have the task, we can charge or discharge, we can storage charge, we could even destroy which is a, a wild option. They do make some smaller adapters that you can put on a battery and it'll kill the battery over time. But uh, we're gonna charge today. I'm not gonna destroy this RDQ battery because it's a pretty nice battery and it's been serving me well. You can also change from LiPo to LIHV, which is your high voltage type of LiPos, uh, running up to 4.35 and this one is 4.2. You can also charge Lion, lithium ion batteries, which is cool. LIFE, PB, and nickel metal, nickel metal cadmium batteries as well. So we're gonna stick to LiPo today, and this is not an HV. So we're gonna stick to that standard LiPo, 4.2 volt per cell. And now we have 4S here. We can go from one to 8S, which is cool. We can go back here by pressing this button again. And again, the current, you can go all the way crazy here. You can go from 0.5 amp, which is my first setting, and it has saved different uh, presets here, one through five, or you can do it individually from 0.2 amp all the way up to like 30 amp. Um, you can go crazy here. You just keep going down and this thing will do a beastie charge at 30 amp. So uh, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna stick with the 
1.5 amp here. I don't want to blow this battery up. You don't want to uh, overcharge your batteries because you can have them swell and blow up in your shop and burn your house down. Be very careful about that. So we're going to go to leave the core voltage at 4.2 and we're going to start that process. And it just looks like that. Very simple. It also shows me the time elapsed, the channel that I'm on, and I can go back if I want to set up something on this other channel. Now I'm in channel two on the other side here. And you're going to go down to the very bottom here and hit back. We're going to go back to the other side here and we're going to change the current here. Say I want to, I want to adjust the current. Say I wanted to charge a little bit faster. You can do that. You can come in here and change the current, which is nice. Press it again and you get that full screen here. So now it's showing me that I'm putting 1.7 in. I up the, the amperage and I've put in 21 milliamps so far, 22 and it shows us the percentage of battery until it's 100% up at the very top. You can see it's just about 86% time elapsed and all that good stuff. So now if I press this again, I can stop it or I can go back as well. But very simple charger to use. And I love it that I can charge from the field with something like this, or I can use that ISDT AC adapter and this goes up to 160 watts so um, not a super high watt rating on this but it will serve you well on the bench and you can charge up to a 6s battery with this so but this battery is charging well and let's just go ahead and take this battery off now we're going to stop this and the way you stop it is long press and just hit that middle button again and now we're stopped and you can see that it was working on a balanced charge, so leveling out to 4.08 volt per cell. And then I have my, my total max voltage from my battery here at 16.3 on that 4S battery. All right, guys, that is pretty much the, the basics of the P30. Now also in the box, I was gonna show you guys, you do get the instruction manual here that is in English and you get a little screen protector, which is nice because most of my ISDT charger screens are thrashed. Uh, I didn't have any screen protector on them and now they include this in the box, which is also super nice. Now this is the P30, which I showed you guys and I have a nice review of the Q6 Nano coming up as well. But before I ended this video, I wanted to show you this little guy and this is the box for it, super tiny. Um, I'm just gonna pull it out of the box and show you guys looks like a little Apple product or something, but it has an XT60 for input here. And the input range on this one is 10 to 30 volts. So this one, you know, you can still run this one on a 4S 1300 out in the field. Plug in your 4S 1300, just like that. And you get this little screen on here as well. Kind of a small screen, but um, this one's all about portability and something you can just carry with you on an airplane. If you're going on a quick trip, you don't want a lot of weight in your bag. This one's nice. And I'll just weigh this one for you in comparison really quickly. And we'll see how many grams this little guy weighs. Q6 Nano weighs 115 grams versus 736 for the P30. So quite a big difference in weight there. Um, so travel, lipo charger, and use a balance board with this one. You can charge up to six batteries at once or use something close to around the house and your uh, close trips, maybe camping trip for the weekend for the ultimate charger, portable or on the bench. Either way you go, these are awesome chargers. But thanks again, guys, for watching. You can check out the links down below if you want to grab either one of these. Uh, this one, the Q6 is, real quick before we go, Q6 is coming in around $30, I believe. So um, the P30 is 189 right now, currently, to make it in this video. And yeah, this one's $29. So um, awesome deal on this little micro nano charger. Guys, I'm Justin Davis. Take care, be well, stay safe out there, and I'll see you on the next one.